this is your module summary for M97 reinsurance. Now, this book is a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie, and many people do get through it and then they go, wow, how did I do that? <laughs> so I would say, as we're going to talk through, you know, if you're in reinsurance, it will provide excellent uh, foundation knowledge for you, but as I said, not for the faint-hearted. So we have 12 chapters altogether. It's one of the longest, in fact, I think it is, might be the longest uh, diploma book that there is. Um, it's kind of on a par with M05, but um, it is still pretty long. And it talks a little bit, first and foremost, about the various kind of sellers of reinsurance, the buyers of reinsurance, the benefits of reinsurance, and, you know, typically the purpose behind it. So some of that you will have known possibly from doing LM1, LM2, and a little bit of IF1 as well, and IF3, where reinsurance comes up. Um, in, a, in kind of an, as an overview if you haven't actually met this side of business before. Then it goes into talk about the different types of reinsurance. So the next few chapters kind of break it down. They look very, very closely at facultative reinsurance. Then they look at treaties, specifically proportional treaties and then non-proportional treaties. So towards the middle of the book, we then look at the actual design of programs. So how we put them together, whether we have specific programs and mix and matching some of the types of reinsurance as well. Then we start to get into the actual contract wordings for all the different types. So you'll start to look at reinsurance clauses that are uh, very specific to facultative uh, treaty business and actually go bit by bit into those, as well as some of the legal issues relating to reinsurance as well. So what are considered to be implied terms, what are express terms, um, how to avoid disputes between insurers and reinsurers. And then as we start to kind of veer towards the end of the book, we look very much as the, at the market as a whole. So the global reinsurance market, the actual reinsurance cycle and what to expect from that. And then we start to look at the reinsurance of specific areas of business. So there's a whole chapter dedicated to property reinsurance, one that's dedicated to casualty reinsurance. And then finally, right at the end, one that's dedicated to marine and aviation reinsurance. So this is a choice for those who work in reinsurance. If you don't work in reinsurance, this is probably not an option you want to look into. Uh, most diploma modules are worth 25 credits. This is um, worth 30, which I think is quite telling for you in terms of uh, the amount of um, content and uh, challenge that goes into completing this module. And so with, as with all diploma modules, we have a hybrid situation where we have coursework, which is 10 questions, short essay style answers from 10 to 20 to 30 marks and you need to get 120 out of 200 to pass that element of it, so 60%. And then for the multiple choice aspects, you've got 50 questions to answer within one hour and you need 65% uh, to pass. If you opt for this module, then check out our free YouTube video on Diploma Coursework to help you go about how to get started there. M97 is worth 30 credits at diploma level and the average completion rate is 91.2% for diploma unit modules.